All right, ladies and gentlemen, second story of the day, going out to the one place that we constantly talk about, and that is the state of New Mexico, because that is another bellwether um, fight, because the, the good people of New Mexico are getting steamrolled by the Democrats there. And of course, we've chronicled on this program the fight over the new gun control regulations that are mimicking what Governor Lujan Grisham put into the quote-unquote emergency uh, health declaration order. Now they're just codifying that into law or codifying it into law because nobody stepped up to stop her. She wasn't stopped, so now she's just doing whatever she wants. However, we're also seeing that New Mexico is picking and choosing because it is the Democrat trifecta. You have a government, legislature, and Supreme Court that are all leftists. Uh, now you're seeing an outward hypocrisy of what can be enforced or what shouldn't be enforced or what shouldn't be enforced, because why not, right? Why not? You guys are in power over there. You might as well do as you please. So from the great bearingarms.com and the amazing Cam Edwards, New Mexico Dems table bill aimed at violent offenders over constitutional concerns. The fact that the Democratic Party can say, well, we don't like this bill because we feel it violates the, the state constitution or the U.S. constitution when they are openly defying the state constitution and the Second Amendment, which we see right here. Everybody knows the New Mexico uh, Article 2, Section 6, no law shall bridge the right of the citizen to keep and bear arms for security and defense, and then they keep talking. And yet, they're openly doing that. They're openly violating it. And these people, because they suffered zero, I'll say it again, zero political backlash, they can thumb their nose at you and say, eh, well, we don't like this bill because this bill is not constitutional. It's ridiculous. So New Mexico Democrats have defied Governor Michelle Lujan Grisham, tabling legislation that she was backing in the 30-day session underway in Santa Fe over concerns about its constitutionality. But it wasn't one of the numerous and clearly unconstitutional gun control measures they defeated. Instead, it was a Republican-authored bill supported by Grisham that was aimed at stopping the revolving door of the criminal justice system. Now, of course, we all know that Democrats are bleeding hearts and the fact that they have been releasing criminals back onto the street to continue to promote crime and commit crime and then turn around and yell at you, the honest citizen, being like, you don't need a gun. But this person that is clearly a criminal, oh, well, they need to have their rights respected and put out on and we need to have bail reform and all these other nonsensical things. Back into the article, Cam writes, I've yet to hear a Democrat in Santa Fe raise any Sort of alarm of the gun bills Grisham is demanding, from the ban on gas-operated semi-automatic long guns to the 14-business-day waiting period for firearm transfers. But SB 122, which would have made it harder for defendants accused of violent crimes to bond out of jail before trial, was just apparently too much. Actually keeping violent criminals in, uh, unless, you know, they were able to bond out but trying to make it harder for them to bond out and, and get back on the street. Now that that's the one that's unconstitutional from the legislation. Some democratic lawmakers question its constitutionality, which by the way, just take that in, just take it in Democrats. While they are steamrolling over the constitutional protections that article two, section six uh, of the New Mexico constitution gives the people of the state steamrolling over those they're like eh, i don't know if we like this one because they suffered no political ramifications for what michelle lujan grisham did back earlier in the uh last year quote i don't think it's just a waste of time to go through this bill pa this pass this go through this pass this and have it declared unconstitutional said senator antoinette sedila lopez a democrat representing the albuquerque area but others argue it's a method used by federal courts use it's a it method used by federal courts use and accused offenders are still innocent until proven guilty. Quote, people are, I think, conflating the idea that a presumption is a presumption of guilt, unquote, said Greg Schmeldes of Bernillo, Sandoval and Santa Fe and Torrance. Quote, we are not determining innocence or guilt in a pretrial hearing. What is presumed is that someone is a danger to the community and we're not presuming they are guilty. It's like anything else They're, You know, if they're going to get away with a bunch of the other thing now, not, I don't really like this bill. I don't think this is a really good bill, but the fact that 
it incenses me that the Democrats get to pick and choose what is unconstitutional, what is, and everybody else just kind of has to throw up your hands and be like, well, I guess that's okay. Cedillo Lopez didn't express those same reservations when SB 69 was brought up in the Senate Health and Public Affairs Committee over the weekend. The New Mexico Shooting Sports Association reported that the bill, which would establish the longest waiting period in the nation on gun transfers, advanced to the Senate floor after a party line vote, which is once again, it is a violation of Article 2, Section 6. Anything that hinders your right to keep and bear arms according to the state constitution is a violation of the state constitution. Ergo, it's not legal. As it turns out, even when Cedillo Lopez did express reservations about a gun control measure, she still ended up voting for it because Democrats fall in line. Last session, a bill banning the manufacture, sale, barter, trade, gift, transfer, or acquisition of automatic firearms and sending automatic firearms that can be, quote unquote, readily converted, which is a made up term, uh, was introduced. And the senator put aside her concerns in favor of advancing the gun control measure when it came before her and the Health and Public Affairs Committee. You can read all this if you'd like, because there's a link if you're watching the full Daily Mag Dump show. There's a link in the description box down below. After the vote to table SB 122, Senator Craig Brandt, who was the one of the sponsors of the bill, declared, quote, progressive Democrats from Albuquerque stood on the side of criminals and left the safety and security of our communities in jeopardy, unquote, adding, quote, these legislatures say they are committed to addressing New Mexico's crime crisis, but votes like this expose their words for nothing more than lip service, which is 100% correct. And that's what this whole thing is about. That's why we're covering it. That's why we're talking about it, because this whole thing in New Mexico is a constitutional crisis. It's a state constitutional crisis, starting from the moment when Lujan Grisham put out this order, said that her oath was not absolute, and then continued to adapt the order. And conservatives apparently thought they had won something by having it um, relegated to parks and, and school grounds or whatever the case may be. And not the fact that the ban was never rescinded. It was never rescinded then. And the Democrats never had to pay a price for it. So now they get to look at you and say, oh yeah, this one's not constitutional. We're, we're going to get rid of this one, but we're going to steamroll you on the other ones that we think is constitutional because it's not about constitutionality. It's never been about constitutionality. What it is, it's about pushing the agenda, knowing they can get away with it because they're able to get away with it because nobody has stopped them. Outside of uh, Representative Lord and Representative Brock, I, I believe their names are in, in New Mexico, the only two Republicans that are apparently fighting, everybody else just kind of packed it up and went home, but they're allowing this. And it is a slap in the face to every single one of you in New Mexico, whether you voted for them or not, because they're telling you that you are peons and you don't mean anything. And we're going to tell you what is and is not correct in open violation of the state constitution.